What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over bid limits. So in an effort to try to answer some of the questions people have for me, I'm going to create a video to answer a question I had recently, which is how do I set bid limits for my campaign? So it used to be much easier to set bid limits when you use manual cost per click because you would set your bid limit for every single keyword you're targeting. Now, most of us, if you're using conversion tracking and we're going to open up my search campaign here, we're going to come over here to settings. Most of us are using a smart bidding strategy like a target CPA, like a target return on ad spend, maybe maximize conversions. So if we click on change bid strategy here, and let's just say we do get guidance on selecting a bid strategy, you're going to say, what do you want to focus on? So if you're using conversion tracking, you want to focus on conversions. Now, if you set clicks here, then you can actually set your manual cost per click for every single keyword that you're targeting. Now, what we want to do is focus on conversions or conversion value. So if we focus on conversions, let's just say we set a target cost per action and our target cost per action is $2, let's say. So let's just say every conversion, we want to make sure we're driving conversions at, at least $2 or less. What it's gonna say is this campaign will use the maximize conversions bid strategy to help you get the most conversions for your budget and target CPA. So if I click on save right now, there is no bid limits involved at all with this. So we come back to previous bidding options, we come over here to bidding. These are some of the different options we have, but when we do maximize conversions and we set our target CPA and we click on save, there's no bid limits now for our campaign at all. We have no upper or lower bid limits. So the way to do that is you actually come to tools and settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to shared library and we're going to go to bid strategies under shared library. And now let's say that we click to create a new bid strategy. We still want to go with target CPA and let's name our bid strategy. So we'll just say sample bid strategy bid limits. Okay, so our target CPA will set at $2 still. Now your target CPA could be set at anything. So if a conversion is worth $300 for your business, then obviously your target CPA will be higher than $2. If you could drive conversions for $2, then that'd be great. But obviously you're gonna set your target CPA at whatever number is gonna be optimal for your business. And ultimately what you wanna do is get your target CPA down. So let's apply this to our search campaign. So we'll come to select campaigns. We have our active search campaign here. Right now it's using the maximize conversions bid strategy. We're going to update it. So we're going to include it for this campaign, our sample bid strategy with bid limits, target CPA of $2. You can, you can create a shared budget to use with this portfolio bid strategy. We're not going to do that. Let's click on advanced options. This is where you create your bid limits. So you're going into portfolio bid strategies. And then what you're doing is you're creating a new bid strategy. And when you click on advanced, you can set a minimum bid limit and a maximum bid limit and or you don't have to set both. So I don't have to do anything here for minimum bid limit, but let's say I wanna drive clicks for my campaign at under 50 cents. What I can do is I can set a maximum bid limit of 50 cents here and click on save. And then now what we have is we're gonna come back to our campaign and you can see here our bidding strategy for our campaign. So this is our farmhouse goal search campaign. Our bidding strategy is now our sample bid strategy with bid limits. We have a target CPA of $2 set but we now have a maximum bid limit of 50 cents. So for my specific campaign, it doesn't make sense for me to bid two, three dollars for a click because it's never gonna be optimal for my business. I run an affiliate marketing business. My margins are essentially nothing. So I really can't run a profitable Google Ads campaign. I only run these Google Ads campaigns for this business just to show them as an example. So I never run a large budget campaign for any of these different affiliate marketing websites because if I make a sale of even $100, I'm only seeing three, four, five dollars of that. So what it means is that you need to make sure that you set bid limits because if we come over here, my average cost per click for this campaign is 25 cents. The average cost per click for my entire account is 12 cents. So I try to drive clicks at the lowest possible cost. I could probably get this cost down even more, but you can see my cost per conversion is $1.40. So every time someone clicks to an affiliate product, that costs me $1.40. So overall, not a terrible campaign at all, but if you do wanna set bid limits, this is how you do it. So if you have any questions about setting bid limits, you do it by going to tools and settings, shared library, go in to create a new portfolio bid strategy, whatever it may be, it could be target return on ad spend, go to advanced settings and set your bid limits here. You could also set bid limits for minimum bid limits as well. However, I only use maximum bid limits. 
And keep in mind, they will not be used in display only campaigns. So if you're running a search campaign, that's really where you want to use your bid limits. So if you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.